direction should the back foot be pointing? Should it be on the line of aim with both feet parallel to the line of aim? So for right-handed players, should the right foot be on the line of aim, not only on it, but pointing toward the line of aim? So this is a very common piece of advice that I've been hearing since the 1980s and not always to good effect for a lot of players. If it was correct that the foot should always be pointing toward the line of aim, then every professional would be doing it. And clearly, they're not all doing that. Some are, but some aren't. So what we're trying to move away from is a dogma, that a cookie cutter that fits every single player. What we want is flexibility of approach to find out which position suits which player the most. For example, with both feet parallel to the line of aim, talking about this, the outside foot here, Stephen Henry was renowned for having that left foot pointing slightly out. It didn't harm him too much, did it? A number of players have more of an angle on that back foot. That's entirely appropriate. What is wrong is, if you cue better and cue straighter here, it's wrong to have your foot directly on the line of aim. If you cue straighter, it's wrong to stand like this. Look, occasionally the problem that being straight with this foot, uh, straight on the line of aim with this foot, gives is crowding the hips and the chest into the cue a little bit too much. If I, t if I pivot the foot out, my hips and my chest are moving away from the cue. I'll demo that here. So just pivoting the foot slightly, moves the hips away, moves the chest away slightly, so that there's a bit more freedom of movement for delivery. So for example, look, with this right foot pointing to the line of aim here, I've got this much follow through before my chest, before my chest hits, my grip hand hits the chest. If I turn that away, my chest is still touching the cue actually, but I have a bit more follow through. And also the hips are not catching the pocket, the dreaded pocket catch. The seventh pocket is the one that your hand catches if your hips are pushed too close in toward the cue. So while we're not saying <coughs> that one option is not always right or wrong, what is often very harmful is to follow this dogma blindly, blindly especially if it uh, knocks around the walls of a snooker club, of which there's plenty of advice like that, and it's not always not not always appropriate for the player. So what we're trying to achieve is a way of evaluating whether advice is going to serve your game. And the way to do that is just test the options open to you and see which serves the cue best. It's always the cue that we need to be loyal to. If anything helps you deliver the cue better and straighter and cleaner and more smoothly, then do it. If it doesn't help you do those things, then don't do it.